Hi, welcome friends. Welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I am running pretty low on my onion soup mix, but I'm only going to make a double batch um, because I'm going to add what's left of this batch to fill up this quart. I'm going to go ahead and just mix it all together. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in my bowl here. And <clears throat> I'm only going to do, like I said, a double batch. And these are my um, own dehydrated onions. And it asks for a half a cup of dehydrated onion flakes. So I'll bring it down here for each batch, okay? But I'm making a double batch. And so I'll go ahead and do, I'll do a little more. Because I like onions. Everybody knows that, has watched me, that I love my onions. So um, then what it says is uh, half a teaspoon, tablespoon of parsley, but since I'm actually Excuse me, yeah. Or one, two, it'll be two tablespoons of parsley. Because it's one per batch. Oops. And then it's going to be three tablespoons of uh, beef bouillon. So it's going to be six. Now, because I'm using the store-bought Noor beef bouillon, it asks for a half a teaspoon of salt, but this bouillon is incredibly salty, and I'm not gonna make it even more salty than normal. So it says a quarter cup of pepper. So it's gonna be pretty much, I mean, I mean, make a little about, about a half a teaspoon of that. And then it says a half a teaspoon of garlic. So I'm going to go ahead and do about one and a half because, like I said, I like garlic. And I'll do the same for the onion powder because the girl likes her onions too. And then um, it asks for, well, I already got the pepper in there. Okay. Then it um, says about a half a teaspoon of paprika. And I'm going to go ahead and just do the whole tablespoon heaping. All right. Now this, um, like I said in my last video, I mean, you're going to see these on different days. It's not that I don't change my clothes, but it's Sunday, and I have a little bit extra time, so I'm going to do quite a few videos today. But as you can see, this is a very, very, very beautiful color together. Um, according to my husband, I mean, because I'm getting my taste back more every day, but according to my husband, this is incredibly tasty. And um, it saved me from having to buy those onion soup packages because those are really super expensive. And then, of course, then you got chemicals in there. Now, don't get me wrong. There is chemicals in um, the beef bouillon powder. I think unless you um, did your own beef and um, made up your own and made your own powder out of it, that's the only way you would not have... Um, the extra chemicals. I mean, I'm mean, sure there's chemicals and all the spices too, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't have all the list of them that it could be. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and this is just used from my last batch. It's not like it's, I'm using dirty stuff here. But I'm going to go ahead and just spoon this in here. And um, I'll tell you once I get my lid on because I can't remember exactly. But this, like I said, this is a very, very, very tasty thing. I mean, I've added it to my um, uh, cream of anything soup, which ends up usually being um, cream of mushroom soup. Um, I add this to my brown gravy mix. And um, I'm even making my sister up a batch of this too. And um, I usually always shake this up before I use it. But what they say is it's about three tablespoons to one cup of water is that onion soup mix. And these spices, <coughs> excuse me, get into my nose here. Um, so it's, this right here would easily be probably um, at least probably five or six of those packages of two each of the of the onion soup mix. Um, like I said, you did, I just shake it up to make sure everything just stays, you know, like very well 
um, shook up and stuff. But I, like I said, I add this to that cream of anything soup. There's a video, I'll link that at the bottom. Um, I add that to my uh, brown gravy mix. I add that to um, other meals, just um, when I've done like that uh, fox uh, shepherd's pie. Um, I've added that to a lot of different spices because it's 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 got the onions, which of course, you know, I like onions in my meal. And um, it just makes it really nice to come out and just have that just right handy like that. And um, like I said, it takes, as you see, it took hardly no time at all to mix this up. Um, if you had to buy this yourself, um, you could buy like those dollar store packages. Um, this would probably cost you, um, uh, well, the onions would be quite costly because, you know, it would have to be, I don't know how many tablespoons are in each one of these. This is only like a 0.4 ounce of a jar. So, um, I just think, you know, you could hand make this yourself. Anybody who has a dehydrator or if you dehydrate in your oven, um, you can dehydrate your own onions pretty cheap, especially if you find onions on sale and you can make this up and it'd be, I mean, the spices would be hardly nothing. I mean, I buy my spices in the big containers. Um, so it's not like, you know, I have to use a whole bunch of these small ones. Like I mean, the paprika and stuff I don't use as much of, I buy the smaller containers, but this is a very good cost savings. Like I said, this is incredibly yummy. I wish you guys had smell a vision because I mean, it does, it does smell very, very good, but, um. I just wanted to show you that, and like I said, um, if you do make this, you use the three tablespoons, which would make one package, to one cup of water. So, like I said, I don't add mine to the water because, you know, usually I'm adding it to the soup or to the gravy mix. So, thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very, very blessed and wonderful day.